Hi, my name is Justina, and I'm going to show you the album that I am putting together for 2015. I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, I'm using Studio Calico's cloth album. It's a 6 by 8 album in this really beautiful wood grain pattern. They recently changed to a 6 ring system, which is great for me because I use this paper punch here that you see. And if you search it in Amazon, Paper Punch PU-462, it should come up. I don't remember the exact cost, but it's super useful because, as I'm showing you here, the different hole sizes can just slide around and you can get the exact size that you need. The 6x8 album from Studio Calico actually corresponds to an A5 planner size, which is the... Um, if you take that punch and set it to the, you know, um, widest that it can go, it fits. It, it punches things to fit perfectly. Um, I got this idea right here that you see this transparency. It says 2015, and it's this really pretty metallic, and it's a script. And I got the idea from Stephanie Bryan, and I will actually link. Uh, the blog post that was on Studio Calico's website. Speaking of Studio Calico, almost all of the supplies that you will see here are from one of their kits, from their kits. I, I've subscribed to their kits for almost a year now and genuinely love their supplies. This paper that you see, this black and white striped paper, it's it was designed by Ashley Goldberg, who I love, and I wrote an entire blog post about her on my blog because I just genuinely love her work. So... As you can see, um, I just punched both separately and layered them. Then if you flip it over, this is another idea that I took from Stephanie Bryan, which I've never tried before and I really loved it and I want to keep doing it. It's a very thin wood veneer. It just says Jan. And I used a zigzag stitch on my little tiny sewing machine and I sewed it onto a transparency. You can buy a pack of transparencies on Amazon for not that much and they just, they're very useful because as you can see here, you can layer and you can see through to the next page. And I just genuinely love that effect. This next page that you see here, it's a photo that I took of a marquee near where I live. And I printed it on vellum. And I love to print photos on vellum because, again, I love that see-through effect. You can, you can see through to the next page. It also adds a nice softness. But my recommendation for printing on vellum is make sure that your images are sharply contrasted and very bold because the vellum does soften it so however you end up if you think of if you imagine it being printed on a regular piece of paper it's gonna it's gonna look a little bit softer and, and blurred on the vellum so keep that in mind this was the first quote page that I did for this album and it's just using a photo strip it's me and my fiance and then it's another Ashley Goldberg paper the black and white um, that you see in the very back there. And I just took this ink pad by Studio Calico in the color Well Red. I, I have every single one of their ink pads uh, from their color theory line. I love it. And I just stamped the word darling over and over to kind of cre create my own background on top of Ashley's. And then I just layered a bunch of different elements in reds and pinks and silvers and whatnot. And I just love the whole you know end result. On the back side, I have another paper. I think it's also designed by Ashley. Not sure. <laughs> I've been hoarding her paper up until this album, so the odds are it probably is hers. And it's just a photo of my fiance with this little wood veneer banner um, that I've been holding on to. Um, the albums by Studio Calico come already with some page protectors that fit in there perfectly. And I don't often use them for this album because I like things sticking out and, and I like touching things and dimension and whatnot, but these two little photos, I just, I, I didn't really want to make them <laughs> that way, so I just used the page protectors, and it was super simple, and I did the same thing on the back, so in the top photo, you can see I did all of my journaling and, and everything, decorating, embellishing, um, and then I slipped it into the page protector, but the bottom one, I slipped it in and then put the um, chipboard sticker on top. This next thing that I'm showing you here, it's just, you could see how it doesn't fit any one particular size. It's just a very loose kind of freeform little mini page, I guess. Very simple. It's just a photo of me with some chipboard letter stickers. 
and again, I use that punch. It's really great. Um, I know it's going to fit in there, so I don't have to worry about the holes not lining up just right or anything like that. And I did something similar on the other side. This next page that you see, um, again, it's just a six by six piece of paper that I quickly scrapped together using a photo. Um, I used the um, app A Beautiful Mess to edit my photo and to add the journaling and the ampersand on there. And then I just printed it out. So it was super, super easy. As you can see, I also use a lot of washi tape in my albums and pages. I love washi tape and have, <laughs> I've, I've accumulated quite the collection, I have to say. Um, these are just a couple of other pages that you could see. I do like to do um, both sides. So, you know, I don't like to leave like a blank side, but I have done that a, a, a couple of times, I think, in this album. But generally, I don't like to. I feel like it's wasted space. And um, also, I like that extra sturdiness that it provides when you back it with another piece of paper on the other side. This was the, the little page that you are seeing here. Um, it's, it's just using the white side of the patterned paper from the other side. And I did the journaling on a small little paper bag that I ripped. I took a yellow marker, kind of highlighted it, and then journaled on top of there. This is one of my favorite parts of this album because, as you can see, this would like never comfortably fit into any page protector. It's just a lot of elements that I stuck together and taped. And the back doesn't look so pretty, but that's okay. I'm slowly getting over that. And then I just embellished the top with some alpha stickers and some rhinestones. Here is just a piece of packaging from my... Um, dancing baby Groot pop figure. I collect these pop vinyl figures. I know I'm an adult, but I love toys and I love baby Groot. So I just kind of overlap them and glue them together and put a piece of washi in the seam and there you go. Now I love my dogs, love, love, love my dogs and I take way too many photos of them I think. So every month I have resolved to just make a single page, a collage page of my dog so I don't have to make you know, 50 separate pages in my album every month for the dogs. <laughs> but I love them. The, um, the brown one is Chewy. Uh, he's a recent addition, a relatively recent addition. And then the white one was Svedka, who is my five-year-old baby puppy. And as you can see in the back here, there are my unused page protectors. So overall, my goal with this album is to just keep up with it every month. It's really easy. I can add as I go. It's a change from my project life that I did before, which was um, weekly spreads. And I like the idea of it and I enjoyed it in the beginning, but it just became too much for me to keep up with. But this is much simpler. I just have a photo on my desktop that I label with the month and I drag and drop photos in there and then I print everything out, cut all of the photos out and voila, it's done. So please feel free to share your thoughts and uh, let me know what you think. This is my first video, so be kind, but uh, I hope to share more with you in the future. Thanks for watching.